Hey, what's up guys, it's Adam here, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can install a VPN on Samsung Smart TV. Okay, so Samsung TVs now run on Tizen OS, and the operating system doesn't support VPN apps. Luckily, I'll show you three easy workarounds for installing a VPN onto your Samsung Smart TV. And to save you time, I've also tested over 25 services to find three of the best ones to use for Samsung Smart TV. But more on that in a moment. Now, for older Android-based Samsung Smart TVs, you can simply download a VPN from the Google Play Store. But for TVs with Tizen OS, you'll need to set up a VPN on your router, use Windows connection sharing, or enable Smart DNS. And the easiest to set up is Smart DNS, but it doesn't encrypt your connection, which means that your activities won't be kept private. Now, you can find standalone DNS proxies, but they can collect your personal data and are often blocked by streaming services. And then some VPNs like ExpressVPN offer features like a smart DNS media streamer that is optimized specifically to work with Samsung and other brand smart TVs. So if you're thinking of installing a VPN on a router, make sure that your router firmware is compatible with VPNs by checking the user manual. If it isn't, you can usually download new custom firmware like Tomato or DDWRT. But keep in mind that this is for more advanced users only because it can permanently damage your router if it's not done correctly. Now, to make things easier, you can also just buy a pre-configured router through the VPN's website, but these can cost significantly more. Okay, so now that I've gotten some pros and cons out of the way, here are the steps for each of the three ways to set up a VPN on your Samsung Smart TV. So the first method is to set up a VPN on your Samsung Smart TV through your router. And while specific routers might have slight differences in their process, the basic steps to set up routers with a VPN are pretty much the same. Okay, the first step is to sign up for a VPN service and download their VPN app, but make sure that you choose a VPN service that specifically supports router installation. And then find your router's IP address by opening the Windows command prompt, type in ipconfig and hitting enter. And the default gateway is your router IP. This is something that Mac users can find under System Preferences, then look for Network, Next Find Advanced, and finally you'll see TCP IP. And then you'll want to log into your router by entering the IP address into your web browser. Next, you can configure your router using the guides on your VPN provider's website. And finally, you can start streaming TV and movies on your Samsung Smart TV. Okay, now the second method is to set up a VPN on your Samsung Smart TV with Windows connection sharing or a virtual router. So in addition to setting up connection sharing with an Ethernet cable coming from a VPN protected device to your TV, you can also share your device's Wi-Fi connection. And while Ethernet gives you much faster speeds, using Wi-Fi is a lot more convenient. And so with a VPN installed on your Windows PC, you can just share your VPN VPN connection with your Samsung Smart TV by turning your PC into a virtual router. Now to do that you'll need a PC that has a Broadcom based Wi-Fi adapter. Most modern computers have them. You will also need the administrator rights to that PC. That means that you're the administrator or that you have password access. And then you will need a subscription with a VPN that uses OpenVPN. Most premium VPNs offer this VPN protocol. So your first step is to verify that your PC supports setting up a virtual router. And to do that, you can go to the Windows search bar and type in command prompt, then select run as administrator. Then in the window that opens, type in netsh wlan show drivers and hit enter. Now look for the line that reads hosted network support. And if that says yes, then your PC can be used to create a wireless hotspot. So now you can go ahead and create one. Okay, then your next step is to download and install the VPN app on your PC. Then to run the VPN and connect to a server in the country with the content that you want to access. Now open mobile hotspot settings in Windows and ensure your Wi-Fi network is selected under share my internet connection from. 
Next, you'll activate the mobile hotspot to share the VPN connection with other devices. Then connect your Samsung Smart TV to the new mobile hotspot. And that's it. Now you can watch location restricted TV and movies from around the world. Okay, now the third method is to set up a VPN on your Samsung Smart TV with Smart DNS. So for this, you will need a VPN that supports Smart DNS and you should be able to find the Smart DNS page on your VPN's website and activate Smart DNS. Now you'll open the settings menu on your Samsung Smart TV, then choose the network tab. You'll also be able to pick a Wi-Fi connection or Ethernet connection tab depending on how your TV is connected on some models. Now, if you open the network status tab, then you can select IP settings and go to DNS settings and select enter manually. Next, enter one of the DNS addresses you got from your VPN's website under primary DNS. And finally, click OK and restart your TV. And then you can start watching unblocked TV shows and movies from anywhere. OK, so now that you've learned the different methods of installing a VPN on your Samsung Smart TV, this begs the question, which VPN should you use? Well, there's a lot of VPNs out there and it can be difficult to choose one that works for you. And so that's where my VPN recommendations come in. And if you'd like to give any of my VPN recommendations a try, I'll include a few links in the description where you can learn more and save some money off the regular price if you're interested. All right, so my first VPN recommendation is ExpressVPN for its ultra fast speeds for lag free streaming. In fact, during my test, ExpressVPN's super fast servers streamed TV reliably in HD with no lag, even when I use servers from across the world. For example, I tested speeds in four different Netflix regions with some of the biggest content libraries, including the US, the UK, Canada, and Greece. And I got speeds fast enough to stream in 4K HD on multiple devices at once. Okay, I like that ExpressVPN offers a smart DNS service through a service known as Media Streamer that makes setup really easy. All you need to do is create a smart DNS account and then add the DNS IP in the settings of your Samsung Smart TV. Now, this won't affect your speeds, but it will give access to geo-blocked platforms regardless of your location. And although router setup is usually much more complicated, one of my favorite things about ExpressVPN is that it has its own native router firmware for smart TVs. So after the firmware is installed on your router, you can operate the VPN in a user-friendly console and take advantage of features such as split tunneling and media streamer. Another win for Express is that during my tests, it was able to unblock almost any streaming service. In fact, I accessed Netflix libraries in the US, Canada, the UK, France, Germany, and the Netherlands. I also unblocked BBC iPlayer, Hulu, Disney+, Amazon Prime Video, and even Spotify. Even better, you can try ExpressVPN for free for 30 days with its money back guarantee, and then get a refund without any reason. Actually, I contacted live chat and requested my money back and they processed my refund with no questions asked. And the money appeared in my bank account in less than a week. So for my second recommendation, which is NordVPN for its reliability and server network. Okay, NordVPN works well with plenty of streaming sites, including Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, BBC iPlayer, and Sky Go. Also, it can be configured to your router so that you can securely access all your content through your smart TV. Alternatively, flash routers make pre-configured Tomato or DDWRT routers, which save you the hassle of manual installation. And like Express, NordVPN is faster than other VPNs I've tested, and it actually has specific servers optimized just for streaming. And Nord's huge network of more than 5,100 servers in over 60 countries means you shouldn't have a problem finding one that works. But if you ever do, live chat customer service agents are always on hand to help. Another benefit to Nord is that it offers a strong suite of security features, including 256-bit AES encryption, perfect forward secrecy, a process-specific kill switch, and DNS leak protection. And then some servers are optimized to prevent DDoS attacks in case that is a concern. 
With Nord, a basic account will enable you to connect up to six simultaneous devices. And then the desktop clients are available for Windows and Mac OS, and mobile apps can be downloaded for Android and iOS. So overall, NordVPN is a solid choice for smart TVs. It's extremely fast, includes a huge range of security features, and even offers a smart DNS fallback. Also, you can try it risk-free thanks to its 30-day money-back guarantee. Okay, now for my third recommendation. Surfshark is a great budget-friendly VPN for Samsung smart TVs. So Surfshark is an excellent choice for streaming while abroad. Not only does it work with services like Netflix, BBC iPlayer and Amazon Prime Video, but its speeds are top notch. With over 3,200 servers in more than 65 countries, it's easy to find a speedy, low latency connection, but if you run into any issues, you can reach customer support via 24-7 live chat. And Surfshark can be manually configured to work with your home router, or if you prefer, you can purchase a pre-configured DDWRT router from Flash Routers. Also, Surfshark uses 256-bit encryption, protection against DNS, IPv6 and WebRTC leaks, and a kill switch to keep your activity safe from snoopers. Better still, Surfshark doesn't keep any logs that could identify you, but if you'd like even greater anonymity, you can pay in Bitcoin, Ethereum or Ripple. Another benefit is that Surfshark lets you connect an unlimited number of devices at once and has apps for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, iOS and Android. So overall Surfshark is a good budget friendly VPN that lets you stream just about anything you want on your smart TV. And so it's a low cost provider that boasts strong security and privacy protections, decent speeds and a 30 day money back guarantee. All right, so that is how you can easily install a VPN on your Samsung Smart TV and some information on the best VPNs to use. But before I end this video, I would like to take the time to answer two of the most frequently asked questions that I get about this topic. So for the first question, which Smart TV apps can a VPN help unblock? Well, as long as your VPN is capable of unblocking streaming services, then the possibilities should be endless. All you need to do is connect your VPN to a region where the service you need to access is offered. For example, if you want to use Hulu on your smart TV, connect to a US VPN server and you'll gain access. And for the next question, what if I get an IP proxy error while trying to watch Samsung smart TV apps with a VPN? So to avoid the Netflix proxy IP error, or if you get an IP error in another app, try changing to a different VPN server. This is because streaming apps often block VPNs and add detected servers to their block lists all the time. Or another option is to use standalone smart DNS services, which allow you to watch titles from anywhere without having to encrypt your online traffic. This doesn't affect your speeds and still bypasses proxy errors on streaming apps. The problem is that streaming services are constantly blocking DNS proxies. And unfortunately, DNS proxies don't secure your connection or protect your privacy with encryption like VPNs do. Okay, so hopefully this video was helpful. If so, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And just as a reminder, if you are interested in trying out any of the VPNs that I mentioned in the video, be sure to check out the special discount links that I'll put in the description area below so that you can save some extra money. Also, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome to our cyber family. Make sure you stay safe online and I'll catch you in the next video.